Okay guys, so this is the new Starbucks. We're gonna go take a look at the menu and order some Starbucks in a sec, but let's just take a look at some of the architecture and the design here around Starbucks. Now, by comparison, because we just looked a little bit at the mall, the Starbucks outfit is fairly prominent. It's one of the larger um, areas or stores in the mall. It's across from the food section. So that whole wing of the mall, that's where all the food the food joints are located. There's DQ, Dairy Queen, The Flame, Quality, Brewsters, Burger King, Jade Walks, Pizza Hut, KFC, and Lazy Fusion. So those are all the fast food joints and restaurants. But across and opposite them, there is this and below where we are. This, of course, is the home store. This home store is, in fact, the anchor store. And it turns out, it seems as if there's there are only two anchor stores now by my assessment. This is one of them and the Caribbean Cinemas, which is located on the top floor of the main section of the mall. So Caribbean Cinemas and the home store are the anchor stores. But let's go check out this new Starbucks. Now this is the first and now the only Starbucks uh, restaurant in Guyana. It's the first one. It's been open for about a day or two now. This is the second day either the second or the third day and they have a drive through so that's the drive through uh, menu we'll take a look at it in a sec and all of these flags are actually showing you So this is the drive through the Starbucks drive through area and this is their menu, Starbucks menu. Right, their beverages, there's coffee, tea espresso, their cold beverages. These are the cold beverages that are served in Guyana. I don't know if you recognize any of them. There's a caramel frappuccino. There's a white, a white chocolate mocha, and there's a Java cup of coffee. There are sandwiches and wraps, snacks, bakery, and I guess those are the favorites. So this is it, guys. This is the extent of Starbucks. Let's take a look at inside and see what it is. Oops. Now we don't really have uh, four seasons here and Starbucks is known for its seasonal um, beverages. You know, there's for instance, the Frappuccinos, which are summer beverages. There's the pumping spice lattes, which are your autumn or fall beverages. There's the mocha Frappuccinos, which are your, maybe your spring beverages. And so, of course, it's a line. I don't know what are going to be the favorites here in Guyana, but we don't have seasons. We're summer all year. And so I guess the iced coffees and the frappuccinos might be the best selling. That's my prediction, of course. We don't know what's going to be, but my prediction is that the cold beverages, the iced beverages, iced coffees, the frappuccinos are going to be the probably the ones that are most popular. But we'll take a look. See what's available. That's the menu. We'll come back and join the line. So guys, it is quite popular. There is a large, a fairly um, large line to get your beverages and I'm not going to stand in line while I film. I'm just going to make sure that I get back to you once I have completed my purchase and tell you what it tastes like. But this is what it's like, guys. Here, 
seems like it's going to be an hour waiting. And we'll get back as soon as we get an order. So guys, we've started standing in line again, waiting for a call uh, to order here in Starbucks. I'm timing to see how long it takes. All right now, I've been in line for about five minutes. I've been in line uh, since, say, 3.25. It's now about 3.30 and the line is actually standing behind me it's me waiting in line now i don't know how the long line how long this waiting the line is going to be but right now we've been in here for, in here for about five minutes and i expect it's going to take at least another 10 minutes so it's about a 30 minute wait right now for a beverage here in starbucks but i suppose it's the novelty of it it's the first day the second day that the restaurant is open and so people are still um, people are still lining up for a chance to taste Starbucks and Guyana and so am I I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the rundown as soon as I get my order so let's take a look at the offerings there are these mugs Starbucks mugs, stainless steel mugs, and of course, Starbucks coffees, that's espresso, coffee Verona, mint citrus, Emperor's clouds, and the coffee mugs. Of course, now you can get all of this. This is a little bit look at the decor. There are places to sit, and that's a decor. It's pretty tropical, as you would expect the decor of a Starbucks in a tropical country to be. And this is what it looks like. There are places to sit. There's Wi Fi, free Wi Fi, I guess, like every other Starbucks. And we'll see. So, guys, we're almost there almost at the top of the line these are the additional beverages that are on sale and a few snacks I'm gonna order my favorite summer beverage the caramel frappuccino I'll tell you how much it costs and what service is like in a minute but it seems as if they're pretty efficient Although I've been in line for about half an hour and probably 45 minutes by the time I get served. But that is to be expected on the day after opening. Everything seems to be running smoothly. Well-trained staff. The items like the coffees and the mugs. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Those uh, stainless steel mugs, they're about $50 US right so if you want to buy a if you want to buy a Starbucks mug it's about $50 50 dollars 50 US dollars about ten thousand dollars for the stainless steel Starbucks mug so, so that's the menu guys I don't know if you can see right hand that's the price list that's the price for the cold brews, frappuccinos. Raphael Nation, R A P H A E L N A T I O N. R A P H A E L N A T I O N. Raphael, two words, Raphael Nation. That's my YouTube channel. So I'm getting the tall caramel cappuccino. Pardon? How much you need? 
Pardon? No, I don't have four. Sorry, I have I have two thousand instead of five. Does that make a difference? So guys, that's it. That's my tall caramel frappuccino with with whipped cream. The wait was about an hour. I think it took a little longer than I expected. Thank you. It took a little longer than I expected, but of course it's the opening day or the day after opening here at Starbucks, and so I didn't expect it to take to be. Um, quick but an hour I step I suppose is it's a bit a bit long but that's it guys that's what's happening here in Providence at the Amazonia mall where the new Starbucks restaurant is now open for business I got me the caramel frappuccino my favorite coffee Raffel Nation of course they messed up the name they of course I suppose are not Raffelitos they don't belong to Raffel Nation but that's what's happening here but guys it's iced coffee it's my favorite uh, beverage I don't usually drink coffee that is I'm allergic to coffee but uh, this was my favorite uh, summer beverage at Starbucks when I lived in New York and it's good to have it here in Georgetown Guyana uh, finally so that's what's up guys share this video with friends and family the coffee by the way uh, that is the frappuccino it was $14 about $7 US uh, 1400 Ghana dollars about $7 US right $1,400 including tax that's about $7 uh, US in Guyana and the tall is the smallest uh, size that they have the largest size, I suppose, is, I suppose it's a grande. It's about eighteen hundred dollars. So that's what's happening here. Come check out Starbucks and the Amazonia Mall next time you're in this this neck of the woods. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Providence, in Guyana. Later.